<laughs> people who really know their food stuff showing off their wares. And uh, the public, of course, can go along and taste all this stuff and, and uh, gain tips and recipes and, and whatnot. Lorraine Jacobs, the, uh, the, the, the queen of Kiwi cuisine, will be one of the people who are there. And, uh, and she's going to be um, doing all kinds of stuff. And Lorraine joins us on the show this morning. Morning to you, Lorraine. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you on. Nice to have, be with you, Glenn. Yeah. Now, um, you are, um, you, you're going to be doing a bunch of different recipes there. One of them will be um, a, salmon, a salmon tart. And I'm uh, getting a, a lot of people to send through their, um, their recipes this morning because they're giving away a regal salmon hamper. Oh, I bet they'll be in for a treat if they win. Gosh, there's so many different ways of enjoying salmon, though. Uh, fantastic. Just one of my favorite foods. And, and uh, a, a lot of the ways just seem to be very simple. Well, you know, it's the whole thing about, you know, if you get great New Zealand products, you don't need to mess around with them. You know, they're just they're in their simple form, that's when they taste best. I've kind of said if it's, if it's simple to make, it'll be simple to eat and everyone will love you. Yeah. Now, you, um, you, you're a big proponent of, um, of local produce and local producers and sourcing everything from, from the community. Well, one of the things, too, is that, you know, the food show, there's just this most spectacular range of stuff there. And people go out there and they're totally dazzled by it. And there's so much that they see, it's really hard to take in. So when I get up on the stage on um, Thursday afternoon at 2.30 and again on Saturday at 11.30, I've got three recipes. And, you know, I'm using at least 10 products from around the show. So people could go and, and sort of see this and then rush around, gather up the things, go home and cook the very meal that I, they've just seen me do. And mm. I'll have to, have to say the salmon tart is a complete knockout. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking about this, um, this, 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 this idea of sourcing food locally. Um, it's, you know, it's become very popular now, but it was something that didn't we lose over the, over the decades, maybe from the 50s to the, to the 80s perhaps? Yeah, I think the great supermarket came in and nobody really thought about where their food comes. You know, you ask the average kid, where does food come from? And they'll just say the supermarket. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, but super, supermarkets have actually had to realise that they've got to take more responsibility and get a fresher food and get the fresher food, you know, to the people. And, um, and I think that eating locally is going to be the most healthy way because the food hasn't travelled for miles and it's fresh and it's interesting. And, of course, now people are, are growing a lot of their own food. Well, and that's in- incredibly uh, fashionable, again, to have your own little back, pop of, back garden pop up there and, uh, and then you've got fresh vegetables. And once you've had fresh vegetables, so like a lot of things, you're never going to go back. Do you have much of a garden? I've got a gorgeous little garden. I've got two little gardens. I've got a beach house, which is a garden with only herbs. And here in my back garden, I've got a little raised bed that has broccoli and lettuces and lots of herbs so I can get fresh herbs. Good. So you've got broccoli on the go at the moment? I have, but it looks like I'm, I'm going to be away when it's going to be at its best. And uh. I'm trying to decide which of my friends might like it. Are you doing cauliflowers? Cauliflower? I had fried cauliflower for dinner last night. It is amazing. Because you're in Auckland, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, um, cause I'm, I'm growing cauliflower at the moment. It's okay, but it hasn't, hasn't um, I haven't got one of those big sort of um, flower heads like you get in the supermarket. Probably didn't put enough compost there in no. the first place. <laughs> the, the broccoli was all right, but yeah. the cauliflower wasn't, wasn't so good. It was still delicious, though, I'll bet. It was. It was indeed. Now, the salmon tart, yes. can you give us a brief description, a bit rundown um, uh, can how you to make do this it? Is, you don't even really need a recipe. You just have to think about it. You get some free, um, some already rolled out, you know, those sh- pre-rolled sheets of puff pastry, and then three onions, if you just fry them up until they're sort of lovely and sweet and tender, put them on top of the pastry and then put that into a hot oven and cook it. And then when it comes out, you've got this sort of onion tart but then the real pest de resistance is to put it with some smoked salmon on top and drizzle that with creme fraiche. What type of cut of, of salmon? We... Oh, that's the, the already smoked, cold smoked sliced salmon. Okay. And so you put these, actually you could put the hot smoked salmon too. Yeah. Big chunks of it all over the fish, then drizzle it with some creme fraiche and you can flavour that with a bit of mustard or um, Mandy's horseradish, which is just fantastic, a local artisan product. Oh, lovely. And... Uh, for the really luxurious t- touch, if you're trying to totally impress, Regal Salmon make this amazing salmon caviar, and they put in little jars, and by putting that all over the top of the tart, it's going to sparkle like jewels. Wow. And it's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, lovely. And, uh, and I'll be demonstrating that out at the show, 11.30 on, th- uh, sorry, 2.30 on th- Thursday and 11.30 on Saturday. So. Nice as a wee snack, sort of entree. Perhaps, oh, look, or? you can use it as finger food. You can have it as the as a, as the entree, or then you could even have a beautiful big fresh green salad out of the garden and call it the main course. Yeah.
Good, good. Old. So that's the um, the wee the wee salmon tartan. If people want to see that also demonstrated, head along um, to the food show. So as I was saying earlier, I've got a bunch of different recipes that have been that have been sent through. Do you mind if I if I um, if I reel off a few at you? That's and, right. And we'll you, we'll have a look and see what I what sounds like. I'd be really intrigued about. Yeah, you tell me your favourite. Um, Jason this morning says salmon, cream cheese, tomato on a bagel for breakfast. Very simple. Fantastic. Um, which is actually one of my, if I can tell you my one, it would just be a bagel, cream cheese, salmon, uh, some lemon drizzled on top, um, salt and pepper, and uh, some capers. Oh, you might be winning. <laughs> <laughs> what about the um, salmon risotto? Uh, smoked salmon, lemon zest, and juice added to a basic risotto. Can add asparagus and season to make it extra good. Well, that sounds nice too. Yeah. Um, salmon that has just been smoked on a plank of cedar. Yes, yep. hard to get the cedar though. Yeah, oh, that's true. Um, what about a salmon sushi train with a twist? Um, prep and now, it's, now I don't know if you understand this one, but prep and fashion sticky rice loco and for freight cars. <laughs> what? <laughs> One time salmon slice per car, load them up with wasabi. <laughs> that's that's the thing. Uh, just I think the sushi train's got a bit of rye there. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yes. Um, uh, salmon recipe. Here we go. Grilled with honey and soy sauce, served on top of steamed broccoli, stir fried with garlic, oyster sauce, and udon noodles. Uh, that sounds pretty good too. Um, now this is a this is a total one out of the bag here. Salmon martini, one salmon fillet, <laughs> one nip of gin. One nip of dry vermouth, combine gin and vermouth in the glass, discard the salmon, drink. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think that's terrible, discarding the salmon. I'd want to eat that first, wouldn't you? (laughs) You It's sort of like, yeah, you drink and your nibbles all in the glass. (laughs) Exactly. Now, I've got one that's come through. Actually, this is from London, from someone on a train this morning. They've sent sent this one through. Um, but they, they recommend, if if they do win, send it through to the appearance, uh, the the hamper that is. Um, here we go. Um, a sister cooked us cooked us these wonderful Scottish salmon fillets covered in a barbecue glaze on a bed of peppered noodles garnished with baby button mushrooms with a side salad and a slice of, of, of lemon. Well, I'm sure it's delicious, but it's getting a bit complex, isn't it? It does. Take, taking away the, um, mm. the simpleness. Um, just a couple more here. Baked salmon, ginger, lime and coriander served on a simple salad. Yeah, that's nice. Always nice to bake fresh salmon. Um, a simple salmon steak on the barbecue with new potatoes and fresh salad. That's hard to meal. beat in the summer. It's a great, great change to the old saucy on the barbecue, isn't it? It is. And, um, and maybe something for breakfast here. Pan-fried salmon on a bed of toast and silver beet with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, fresh require salmon and silver beet from the garden. It sounds like you have to get up about 5am to cook that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you reckon? What's, what's, got, what's tickling your fancy? Well, you know what's really appealing to me was, first of all, I want to go and eat that salmon bagel that you suggested right yeah, now. Yeah. But my favourite is that idea of making a simple risotto and then adding salmon to it. And it wouldn't matter whether you use cold smoked salmon or hot smoked salmon, but that would just be delicious squeeze Love. of lemon. Perfect. Well, that means Wendy has taken it out. Congratulations, Wendy. Oh, good girl, Wendy. Yeah. Go, Wendy. What a nice one. And looking forward to asparagus coming in season as well. Yeah, and that won't be too far away now, yeah. next month. Hey Lorraine, have a good time at the food fo- at the food show. Yeah, hope to see you there. And thanks for sharing the um, the salmon tart with us this morning. Oh, people are going to be wowed when they come and see that one. Excellent. Cheers. Lovely. Thanks. Thanks it, for talking. It is uh, Lorraine Jacobs with us this morning. As I say, congratulations to Wendy. You got the uh, the Regal Salmon Hamper Pack. We'll be sending that out to you. In fact, I think it's coming direct from Melbourne on ice.